back. With all the debate over funding the border wall this week, one senator from Louisiana's proposition was included in the president's plan to fund the wall. We've told you about this for a few weeks now. Senator Bill Cassidy says at least part of the billions in funding to build a wall uh, on the Mexico border will come from Mexico itself in the form of money seized from drug cartels. Now, I spoke with Senator Cassidy ahead of the president's decision to learn more about his plan. I'm on the phone with U.S. Senator Bill Cassidy from Louisiana. Welcome to the show, Senator. Hey, Fred. Thank you for having me. I uh, appreciate your time. I know you guys are busy up there, but I wanted to talk to you this morning about your legislation uh, that would allow for us to pay for the wall using drug cartel money. Let's go over that again. What does that do? Yeah, it helps secure the southern border, contributing money to that physical barrier the president wants. It also secures our border another me by another means. We would use dollars we're currently seizing from cartels. They sell drugs in the United States, try and get it back to Mexico, we seize it. There's about $5 billion a year we grab from them. Let's use that money towards securing the southern border. Now, it does a couple things. It secures the southern border, both by building a wall, but also by taking money away from criminals they would use for trafficking or they would use to run drugs, etc. It also gives the negotiators a way around Ms. Pelosi's opposition to doing anything about securing the southern border with a barrier. Um, frankly, the, the, the Congress would not have to appropriate this. So if she wants to save face, she could, but we could still get money to, to secure the southern border. Where is your legislation now? I know you introduced it uh, last week. Where is it now? So it's been introduced and it's on the table, if you will, for the negotiators to use. There's 17 members of the House, Senate, Democrat, Republicans trying to come to an agreement how to go forward. And I want to give them this option. If they decide they need to have a southern border to secure our to secure our safety, then this would be one way to achieve that funding if they, if they feel like they can't do it through a more traditional route. Is your legislation in committee right now? Oh, it would not go to committee just because there's not time to consider. But it would be, um, uh, once you're in conference, uh, you bypass the committee. And whatever that conference comes up, comes up with, they will send back to the floor both the House and the Senate. Mm -hmm. And I, we've talked about your bill before, and it was explained to me a little bit more about how you're actually using that money. It's not necessarily, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's not necessarily taking money out of that. You're actually um, issuing bonds on that on that that money, right? Well, well, there's two things about it. There's money there which is not obligated. You could immediately use that money, but you under, but you know from history that about every year there's about a billion of that money which is not spent. You could bond that money out so that, that you, so that you have the $5 billion now you need to go forward. So a portion of it's already there, and a portion of it you would bond out. Do you get the sense at all that uh, Democrats and Republicans and, and the president are coming together at all to try to uh, get a, a spending bill put in place? I do, but the one who has not come together so far is Nancy Pelosi. Uh, there's headlines in the papers up here that Democrats are trying to find funding for um, a barrier. Uh, Republicans have, the president has clearly made compromises in terms of how he would address some of the issues such as uh, DACA, the young people who come here uh, when they're children and have been here their whole life otherwise. And so he's clearly made concessions there. It's Ms. Pelosi who's not moved one inch. And so, hopefully, everybody else coming together will make her more reasonable. Mm -hmm. Well, Senator Cassidy, we will definitely be uh, keeping tabs on your legislation and uh, let us know if it uh, moves forward. Let me mention one more thing, Fred. Sure. This idea, of, this idea of bonding out money is actually an idea I got from what we do in Louisiana. Mm -hmm. And we take money that's allocated for rebuilding our coastline, the Go Mesa dollars, and we bond it forward. I like that because good things that we do in Louisiana uh, are an example and a path forward for doing good things for the entire United States of America. And, and people in Louisiana, we should feel good about that. And you've mentioned that's a successful, uh, that's a successful program here in Louisiana. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, okay. 
Again, Senator, thank you so much for your time. We'll keep an eye on that legislation. Thank you, sir. All right.